Hey guys, what's going on? So in the video today, I'm going to be conditioning my Mark Albert boots in Forest Kudu. And I typically recommend against conditioning Kudu, but my buddy Mario uh, of DMAR Shoe Repair, he actually sent me this stuff called Saphir Oiled Leather Cure Gra. And he says that once the Kudu is dried out and needs conditioning, you rub the boots down with the Saphir Oiled Leather Cure Gra and it'll soak it in, the leather will drink it in, and it will darken it up initially, but you wait about an hour and it just soaks in and then it returns mostly back to its normal color. Now, as you can see, this kudu leather is crazy. It's got a lot of awesome scars and abrasions and I really love the character and I don't wanna mask that at all, but the leather is dry. And I get this question a lot, how do you care for your kudu? And for the most part, you know, I just say don't do it. But today, for science and for the boot community, I am going to rub these babies down with some Saphir oil leather cure gras and see how it turns out. Now, as we can see, the affected areas do darken up considerably, and you can see how this kudu is dry. It's just drinking this stuff in. It goes in very smoothly, very easy, and I will mention as well, Saphir, they always excel in one area, and that's with the smell of their product. This stuff smells super good. All right, let's look at the before and after. So I conditioned the right boot, the left boot is not conditioned. So you can see the difference here, how much darker the right boot is compared to the left boot. All right, you can see here, I actually get them a little wet with a little bit of water because it's very moist here today. And uh, you can see that the Saphir waterproofed the right boot a lot more. Compare that to the left boot. The left boot is soaking in the water, whereas the right boot is not. All right, and here we go one hour later. As you can see, the right boot dried up and is considerably lighter than what it was before. It is darker though, but not by much. It has more of just like an overall nourished look. It actually brought out the vibrancy of the forest kudu, the vibrancy of the green without taking away from it. I think it looks better now. Um, the left boot looks kind of dry, looks kind of dingy, looks kind of, uh, doesn't have that vibrancy. And so I'm actually excited with the result. And so while this did darken it a shade or two, I can tell the leather appreciates the conditioning and is healthier as a result.
here we are finishing up with the left boot as you can see as I mentioned before it will be darker initially but you wait and you let it sit for about an hour and it will return to normal mostly all right and here we go time to wait all right and here we go finished product the left boot has lightened up considerably the rest of the Saphir Cure Gras mm -hmm. had a chance to really settle in and you can still see all the really cool scars and abrasions throughout the boot. So all of that is retained, none of that is masked, it's still all there, but the leather is happier, it's just a little bit more nourished, and I would have to say I give the Saphir Oiled Leather Cure Gras the green light, no pun intended on your kudu leathers whether it be green gray brown there's a, there's actually a brown saphir oil leather cure gras but this stuff is the neutral as to not interrupt the color but yes i give it the green light i think if your kudu is getting a little dry this is a perfect product to use on it so anyways thanks a lot for watching guys what do you think of the results uh do you have any other leather care recommendations that you would use on a kudu and to what degree of success have you had with that? Um, anyways, you can follow me on Instagram. My username is aerosurferlv. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see y'all in my next video.